Hey guys, it's Pierre, the Fish Beast. Welcome back. Um, today I'd like to update you on the 210 gallon tank. Uh, I'm finally in the process of setting it up or uh, getting as close to getting it set up as possible. Um, as you can see, this is the, the aquarium that I've moved onto the stand that I've made in substitution for the uh, poorly built, in my opinion, a stand that the aquarium came with originally. Uh, I made sure that this stand had plenty of support, was well built, and also had enough space underneath it for my filtration system, which will be an FX6, which I've already kind of test placed in its spot here. And then I originally was going to go with a 75 gallon sump underneath, but uh, it's been a little difficult to find one, and I really didn't want to uh, harvest one of my existing 75s, so I decided to use a 55 for now. Uh, I think it'll be adequate for our purposes. Anyway, I've cleaned it, but I have to give it one final cleaning. Um, and the things that are going in it are the following. We've got a cubic foot of K1 in that bag. Uh, might not need all of it, but it was uh, it was a good deal for that quantity. I've got two uh, 1,000 GPH pumps, uh, which I will probably have to throttle depending on uh, whether or not they overwhelm the overflows. I've got a 800 watt heater and I'm hoping that the heat from these pumps will offset the duties uh, that the heater has to bear. And then finally, instead of using acrylic, I opted to go with a glass baffles, which I had recently cut at a local glass shop. I'm going to uh, put this together using a pretty simple design and uh, I'll check back in with you once I've uh, put it together and hopefully it works. So uh, here's approximately how these guys will look in here. Um, they also have su suction cup uh, feet so that you can uh, anchor them to the bottom of your uh, sump or tank. And then prior to that, or before the water goes there, I'm going to put up this lighting diffuser and plan to run a Hamburg matten filter. Uh, and the foam for that is on its way. It's a porret foam uh, and supposedly really good for biological filtration. Um, then the bulk of the the bulk of the tank will be K1, uh, fluidized K1, and uh, I'll also be putting the heater uh, in here somewhere, probably horizontally, uh, just because it's a little too high uh, to fit in the tank. Um, I'm also putting up uh, a baffle uh, to ensure that the uh, pumps don't run out of water, that they're always submerged, uh, and also. Uh, I will be putting in an area where I can put a little bit of mechanical filtration, although I'm relying on my FX6 to do most of that uh, for this aquarium. Okay, so after thinking about it and thinking about it some more, I decided on a different direction uh, altogether. So uh, what I'm going to be doing for this sump is uh, K1, fluidized media in the middle chamber, and then uh, the baffles, if you will, will be comprised of these upright siliconed uh, lighting diffusers and each one of them will be uh, supporting a porret foam filter which will serve as matten filter. I'm going to have a 10 ppi uh, foam here which will be the return section, I'm sorry, the drain section from the, from the tank, force that water through go through the K1 and then 30 ppi foam here and then here's the, uh, the two pumps which I oriented uh, uh, laterally and a heater so it's a lot simpler uh, I'm not gonna have to mess with um, uh, you know forcing water over and under baffles I don't think I really need it in this situation I'll have mechanical and biological filtration and it's gonna be a lot simpler with one water level I've got my plumbing set up down here. I'm filling the sump and uh, also I'm operating both pumps. 
down here. So let's fill her up. <laughs> 